In today's video, I wanted to talk to you about how many guinea pigs is too many guinea pigs. How many guinea pigs is the perfect herd size for you? Can there even be too many guinea pigs? Let's look at some really important things you need to consider before you decide on your herd size and before you adopt your guinea pigs. Disclaimer, I'm not going to sugarcoat things in this video, so let's just get right into the topic. Okay, number one thing to consider is space. Obviously, the more guinea pigs you have, the bigger of a cage you will need. That's a no-brainer, I know. But what about hay? As soon as you cross the threshold into three or more guinea pigs, you will need a ton of hay. Same goes for bedding. Even if you use fleece liners, you will need a ton of space, and that means you will need a ton of bedding, a ton of hay, and a ton of fleece liners. You need to store all of that somewhere or you need to be willing to go to the pet shop like pretty much every other day if you buy the really small packages of hay or bedding. Also think about Heidi's, pet carriers, veggies. Once you get to seven guinea pigs you might as well just buy them their own fridge. Just kidding, kind of, not really actually. Guinea pig items take up a lot of space and they just seem to multiply. All of that has to go somewhere. So when you consider your perfect herd size, also consider that with guinea pigs it's not only the cage space that you need for them, but you will also need a ton of storage space. Stuff is just going to multiply around you. Time. This is a really big thing to consider. All of your guinea pig spaces need to be cleaned. So the bigger the cage, obviously, the more work it is. It can take up to half an hour to entirely clean this cage, and that is just doing the bedding and the fleece liners. I'm not even talking about deep cleaning, plexiglass windows. It takes a ton of time to care for your guinea pigs. I'm probably taking 10 minutes or 15 minutes a day to prepare all of the guinea pigs veggies. And I know it does not sound that much. Like obviously every single one of us probably has 15 minutes a day to prepare veggies for five guinea pigs. But it does take up a ton of time. Like just adding all of these things that I do throughout the day for the guinea pigs. Like I refill their hay probably 10 times a day. I refill the water bottle several times a day. If you have a water bowl, you need to clean that thing basically 10 times a day because the guinea pigs just can kick things into it. You're around three guinea pigs. It takes up less time and it's really easy to incorporate that into a full-time job if you have one. But as soon as you hit like four or five guinea pigs, it becomes a lot. Once you're at like seven, eight, nine, or 10 guinea pigs, if you keep them inside your house, the work is just going to be a lot. And once life gets in the way, and life kind of has a way of just throwing curveballs at you, once life gets in the way, it becomes a chore. And that is something to think about. Are you willing to consistently provide this level of care every single day for the next eight to 10 years? Obviously, you have to provide this care for two or three guinea pigs as well. But once you get to like five, six or seven guinea pigs, it's just really a lot. And there is a lot of stuff to do. And one thing to consider as well is once one of your guinea pigs gets sick, obviously you don't want that to happen. But if that happens, the amount of work just is like 20 times as much. The other option is to pay a vet clinic to take care of your guinea pig. But that is going to cost you really a ton of money because it really, really is a ton of work to care for a sick guinea pig. Taking care of a sick guinea pig is going to be really, really difficult with a full-time job. Like if you can't work from home and if you can't take time off, you need somebody else to take care of your guinea pig for you. I will get into that later in this video, but that is so important to consider. And obviously the more guinea pigs you have, the more likely it is that one of your guinea pigs gets sick. Your mindset. What type of pet owner do you want to be? Obviously, you are able to spoil two or three guinea pigs way more than you're able to spoil five, six, seven or eight guinea pigs. I don't mean that as an attack or anything, so I'm just gonna start talking about me, but I definitely would spoil two guinea pigs more than I'd be able to spoil my five guinea pigs or my four guinea pigs at the moment. 
I don't mean this that in any like mean way. Obviously, I do spoil my guinea pigs. I don't take anything away from them. But if I buy them herbs, like it's basically impossible to buy enough herbs for five guinea pigs to the point where like every single one of them will eat till they're full. They just inhale that stuff. Preparing their veggies and cleaning their cage is a great bonding time. It really is. But when life just gets in the way, it also becomes a chore. And it's a ton of work. I'd probably, like if I have a stressful day and I know at the end of the day I'm going to need to clean my guinea pig's cage, if I only had two guinea pigs, I would probably still be able to interact way more with them and just be a little bit more relaxed. Whereas with this amount of work, I just know I need to do so much stuff that when life gets stressful, I'm not like taking the time to just play with them or interact with them, but just rather get everything done quickly. So I actually managed to do everything that day. But that is definitely something to consider. And that in no way means that I'm not happy with my herd size or that I don't love my guinea pigs. But it is a good question to ask yourself. This is a huge one, support. Where do your guinea pigs go on vacation? Like if you go on vacation and you need to board them, where do they go? If you have two guinea pigs, probably even three, even friends of yours or family members who've never had guinea pigs will probably take your guinea pigs. Once you get to four or five guinea pigs, people are less willing to take care of your guinea pigs. Because it's just a lot. Like tell a random person on the street that you have five guinea pigs. They'll be like, when worst comes to worst. And that is something honestly that I'm praying for every single time when one of my guinea pigs gets sick. It's basically impossible to care for two really, really sick guinea pigs at the same time as just one person. A sick guinea pig needs tons of vet visits. They need medications two to three times a day. Probably not only one, usually guinea pigs get a combo of things. So you might need to feed them five different things in the morning, three different things around noon, and then five different things in the evening. If your guinea pig stops eating, you will need to feed them every two hours. And then you also need to clean everything that you use while you care for the guinea pigs. So you also spend time after caring for them just in the kitchen cleaning everything. Feeding a sick guinea pig that does not eat is a ton of work every two hours, even during the night. And it really, really grates you down. That is also an important thing. Do you have someone in your life that you can talk to that understands caring for a pet? Because that is definitely going to help you with the mental load of that. Maybe you're wor worrying yourself sick about your sick piggy. Do you have someone that can like help you with that load? Do you have someone who can help you with all of the medications? someone to help you with the vet visits. It's very difficult to do all of that with a full-time job. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Really doing all of the medications is extremely difficult if you can't work from home. The more guinea pigs you have, the more statistically it's just more likely that two of them could be sick at the same time. Obviously, if you only have two guinea pigs, you could be really unlucky and have that happen too. But it's just more likely the more guinea pigs have, the more they'll get sick. Talking about vet visits, money is obviously a huge factor as well. Once you reach three or four guinea pigs, hay bedding veggie costs are going to explode. Just from my experience, I know statistically it's more likely that a ton of guinea pigs, like that even more guinea pigs are going to get sick, meaning you will have more vet visits. But actually what I found out in like 10 years of keeping guinea pigs is that I'm basically my own pet insurance. Sounds really odd, but I've checked prices for guinea pig insurances after Nugget got sick because vet prices just really went up in my country. So I checked what it cost and honestly not a lot of pet insurances. Take rodents, insuring a single guinea pig is like a couple of hundred euros a year. And so if I were to insure five guinea pigs, I'd be paying more than a or around a thousand euro a year for my guinea pigs. And just looking at the data, like looking at the last 10 years of me keeping guinea pigs and like looking at all of the vet bills kind of evens out between all of my five guinea pigs. So I am actually, I'm paying less in vet bills, even with the increased prices that I would with a pet insurance. 
So basically, obviously an insurance wants to make money. So at the end of the day, I can probably say I have so many guinea pigs that I'm my own pet insurance because some of them will never get sick and some of them will get sick. And it kind of evens out with five guinea pigs. At least that is the data that I have. And obviously it could be different and you need to be prepared to have all of that money lying around or like saving it every single month. Guinea pigs easily rack up if they're really sick and we're talking about trying to find out what they have, possibly trying to talk about end of life care, we're easily talking about 600, easily 800, easily 1000, not even talking about your guinea pigs basically boarding at the vet. The more guinea pigs you have, obviously, the more expensive it is. So to answer the question, can there be too many guinea pigs? Yeah, probably. It really depends on your living situation. As soon as your resources, either money, time, space, any of these don't really fit your guinea pigs anymore. It's definitely too many guinea pigs that you keep. Three, guinea pigs is a good size for herd interaction, for watching your guinea pigs, for interacting with them. With three guinea pigs, you don't have to worry about when one of them gets sick, needs surgery, needs to be away that you have a lone guinea pig in your cage. Once you get to four or five guinea pigs, the mess, <laughs> That is that is the one point I struggle with the most. The mess is going to really intensify and just stuff that the guinea pigs need is going to multiply. Like your life will really be all about the guinea pigs. Like going on a quick weekend getaway is basically impossible because it's just a logistical nightmare. You need someone basically to come to your house like at least twice a day to care for your guinea pigs because you just don't easily put five guinea pigs in a carrier and have them at someone else's house. Nothing is super quick and easy with four or five guinea pigs usually. At least that is my experience. Sounds like that is a bad thing, but obviously I chose that and I love that and I'm not changing that because I always go back to having five guinea pigs. I love that for me, but I also know that that is not for everyone. Do you really want your life to be all about your guinea pigs? People will say yes and I would enthusiastically say go for it because I did and I love it but if you still want not not have that if you want to have more freedom I definitely start with two or three guinea pigs and then take it from there once you get way past five guinea pigs so once you get into, into the seven to ten guinea pigs herd size it also becomes really hard to notice if one of your guinea pigs shows a change in personality that could indicate that something is wrong. On the other hand, of course, you're going to see amazing herd interaction. You're going to provide your guinea pigs with the most amount of friends. Guinea pigs are herd animals. They love having even more friends. And every single guinea pig in your group will probably probably be able to find like their perfect BFF because, because they can choose like what kind of guinea pigs they really want to hang out with which obviously is harder in a group of three or five the herd dynamic doesn't really it's not really affected as much when one guinea pig passes at least that's what i heard from other people like the dynamic does not change as much as it does when you have five or even just three guinea pigs this is going to be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and see you guys next time